Hey, what's up, food fiends? Today I crave some Filipino food, and in my humble opinion, the best Filipino food I have tried in a restaurant on Oahu is Thelma's. Um, Julie's is a second. Um, I never really tried their other dishes besides their lechon, but they're also awesome too. Um, so what I ordered today was the lechon koali special. I put it on a plate that's nicer because it's kind of uh, a mess and it's two separate plates. plates. They separate your rice and they have a whole big plate of this lechon koali. And if you don't know what lechon koali is, it is a roasted pork dish and it's tossed in onions and fresh tomatoes in a soy vinegar type sauce. Absolutely delicious. And it comes with rice. I also got sari sari. Um, I'm gonna be taking a sip and mixing it with my rice. Um, that's like a soup, Filipino soup with eggplant, squash, some more lechon in there. Um, there's tomatoes, all kinds of goodies. I, I don't really know what else is in there. Shrimp, I see shrimp and some water spinach, amazing stuff. So let's eat. So it's kind of like pieces, looks like Chinese pork, pretty much. It's got a cri those crispy skin. And the sauce is what makes it so good. If you can hear that crunch. I love the onions and the tomato. Mm. If you don't like raw onions, then it might not be for you. But give it a give it a try. It's delicious. I feel so bad too because I didn't take any video of the front because I'm absolutely starving. So forgive me for that. I was in a rush too and there wasn't much parking. It does get really busy in that lot. So I'm going to take some sari sari soup and mix it with my rice. Get all the goodies. I'd hold the bowl but it's super hot. Which is good because even though you order takeout, it's still really hot the soup. Mm. So the soup is very savory. It's healthy because it's got lots, lots of vegetables. Just had some eggplant there. And this is the squash. Mm. Mixing the soup with the rice is delicious because the broth is so flavorful. Can't go wrong. Even though it's a hot day, this sari sari is so good. The broth is delicious. Mmm, gotta try it. If you're ever in the area of Waipahu, try Thelma's. The sad thing is, Thelma's had a really great lunch buffet, but with this whole COVID thing, they had to get rid of it. So no more lunch buffet. They had an array of Filipino foods you could try for a low price and you could go back as many times as you wanted. I'm probably going to pound this really fast because it's so delicious. Mm. Let me know in the comments below uh, what your favorite Filipino dish is.
and I have a question for those who might know. Is Saudi Saudi a Hawaii thing? Like that the Filipino people brought during the plantation era? Because when I Google it for a recipe you should make at home, it doesn't really pop up under Filipino cuisine unless it's some other name that it's under that we call it something different. So if anybody knows, let me know. So today's drink of the day is a cerveja Pacifico. It's from Mexico, if you don't know. Kind of similar to a, a little bit of stronger of a Corona type beer. That's really refreshing because the soup is making me sweat. Super hot. But delicious. A confession I have to make is I have not discovered Filipino food until maybe my late 20s, early 30s. And uh, I had a lot of Filipino friends in school, but nobody ever brought any food or anything or shared their food. Uh, so I didn't even know what it was. There's the jokes about balut and stuff, but never knew about lechon kuali or any of this stuff until I started branching out and eating at different places and absolutely fell in love with it. It is delicious. I will say though, I'm kind of picky. I don't like sour things too much. I mean sour savory. So like I'm not a fan of adobo, although I'll, I'll eat it, but it's not my favorite. And I don't really care for the dinaguan, but I'll eat it too. It's okay, but I love pinak bet. Tend to go for the savory stuff. Mango beans. Squid guisado. All that stuff's good. I think I like it because of the use of fish sauce in their cuisine. Because I like Vietnamese food too. And Thai food, which also uses fish sauce in different ways. So I find that really delicious. A word of warning though, if you're going to order the lechon kuali, don't uh, make sure you're not going to somewhere important like a meeting. I don't know if you want to eat it for lunch during work unless you have a toothbrush or going on a date because the onions will make your breath stink, but it's so good. The stinkier, the better. And if you're wondering about the flavor of the Saudi Saudi, it's savory, nice salty broth, but it's got that fish sauce flavor that I like so much. It's so comforting. I think I could eat this with rice on a nice cold rainy day and it's the bomb. And like I said, it's pretty healthy. I mean, it's got the pork in there and stuff, but most of it's veggies, eggplant, squash, the Chinese spinach, onions, tomatoes, so you can't go wrong. So for the Lechon Kowali special, it's called the Thelma Special. Um, I only put a little bit of it, probably less than even half, on my plate. So I have lots of leftovers. Um, it's pretty much a good deal. With that, it comes with a big plate of rice and the sauce for your lechon and the big bowl of um, sari sari. I'll try to hold it up. It's super hot. This is a pretty big bowl. So I probably ate like just a little bit, like this much. So I have lots of leftovers for lunch tomorrow, which is good. All that was $22.70, something like that. Um, I left the receipt in my car, sorry, but 
22 bucks about almost 23 so I think it's a good deal because I'm just eating this by myself it can probably fit uh, feed two people you can share it it's about 10 or 11 dollars for each person to have a nice filling meal so definitely if you're trying to check out some good eats in Waipahu and some good Filipino food check out Thelma's it's really popular so you might want to call it in as well so when I went in I called it in ready in 10 minutes but there was other people walking in and they had to take a seat and wait. So I would definitely call it in if you're pressed for time and you don't want to wait around. Um, so yeah, that was Thomas. Go give him a visit for some awesome Filipino food. So until next time, I'll see you next weekend for another food adventure. Press the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll check you out later. Peace out.